Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I wanted to make a guide to watching our seasons because we have over 20 seasons on this channel. No, you do not have to watch in order. So I'm gonna make a little guide, give a little spiel about what we have going on here. First, there are a few things you should know about our games in general. With a few exceptions, all of the games happen over the course of one day. We have many returning players in all of our seasons, often mixed with new players, but it doesn't have the same effect that it usually has on the actual shows. In our seasons, the returnees help set the pace of the game, and our newer players typically know the show well and aren't phased by the experience of the returnees. We do experiment with twists in the games, and they mostly serve to help push forward the plot of the season. One thing to know about our Survivor games is that in the early seasons, we did use Redemption Island, and that was mostly because we were playing in high school, and I really wanted to make sure all the different players were having a good time and would talk well of it whenever they went back to school. <laughs> we have abandoned the Redemption Island format, starting with Freaky Forest, but the seasons that did have it, I thought, utilized it well. We bring people back at the start of the merge, and also around the top seven or eight. So we fixed the broken game mechanic of having someone come back at the top five. There's still the issue of bringing someone back in the first place, but we've abandoned that. And also, I think the seasons that did have it, it ended up working out. All right, let's start off by talking about our Survivor seasons. I'll go through each season chronologically and talk about each one. Reminder, you don't have to watch in order. Uh, just watch the ones that appeal to you. I will include some clips of spoilers, no winner spoilers, maybe some elimination spoilers, so if you're not into that, I will include my rankings of the seasons in the description below. First up is Survivor Goat Island. This is the first season of our new channel. We had one back in the day when we had seasons when I was in middle school. I won't be going through those. Yes. <laughs> this season was the first season labeled Adults vs. Teens, so we had a team of high school players versus a team of... Full grown adults. <laughs> I'm Jill and I teach most of you, so keep that in mind. <laughs> this is one of our earlier seasons, so the film quality is lower than what you'll expect from our more recent seasons. But overall, this is a really fun season with a fun pre merge dynamic of a winning team choosing another team to be safe with them. And this season's merge is especially exciting with two sides really going at it up until the finale. This is also the shortest season of Survivor we have, so if you want to just knock one out, this is a good one to pick. This being said, I rank this season 10th out of all 11 seasons that we have. Next up is Survivor Perilous Fjord. I won't say too much about it, but honestly, just skip this one. <laughs> this was back when I really wanted to challenge myself to make the games as big as possible. So as a result, we had a game of 32 players for Survivor. We didn't have enough cameras to cover all the different things that were happening. Uh, the eliminations were pretty rapid and quick, and it just really didn't translate well into the videos. This season does introduce many of the players that we've brought back several times since, and it also has one of my favorite losing finalists of all time. But honestly, this one's messy. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll be honest, it's, it's, it's not a great time. Only watch it if you, like, have seen literally everything else. Every bit of Survivor content. <laughs> I rank this season 11 out of 11, and I am looking forward to getting to the better seasons. <laughs> Next up is Survivor Cape Mutiny. This is the one. <laughs> this is the second and final installment of Adults vs. Teens seasons. And this time, Tribe started off with half teens and half adults. I consider this season the true season one of our Survivors. This is one of my absolute favorite seasons. The post-merge is incredible. There's so much tension, so much back and forth, just a lot of story going on. There's a couple fights. I'm showing clips of one right now. Oh. I'm like, okay, well then I don't know who told, I don't remember who told me Lauren and your name. Somebody told me your, me, my name? Who? Lauren, Lauren, no, okay, Lauren, okay, no, no, you cannot done. deny that. You cannot Emma, deny, you I cannot said that deny. Thomas was going Lauren, up. you cannot deny that right there before Tribal Council, Emma, you I'm said screaming. Thomas said I'm my name. The only drawback this season has is that the pre-merge is fairly slow, but it does serve well to help develop who the eventual characters are, who the eventual big players are, which makes the merge even that much more satisfying. This season has a great winner. You could easily follow the strategy throughout, I feel, and it is one of my absolute favorite seasons we have. I rank it number six out of 11. 
Next up is Survivor Isle of Deceit. This is our first Brain Brawn Beauty season. Honestly, this is a fun game from start to finish. I'm a little biased because I myself was in this season. There's a fun storyline of the other teams trying to gang up on the Brain Tribe in the pre-merge. And the merge is really exciting with a lot of different alliances moving back and forth, a lot of flips, and a few blindsides. The only downside was that it was a very windy day, so a few of the clips have a lot of wind in it, but I tried to edit around it as much as I could. I will let the rank speak for itself. I put this season at number 4 out of 11, and it's just some really good Survivor. Next up is Survivor Scorched Mesa. Um, after this season, we have officially capped the max number of players at 24. This season had 28. It was our attempt at a blood versus water season. The theme didn't really work. Ultimately, this season had the largest merge in history with 14 players active at the individual stage. And the first two tribal councils of the merge are two of my favorite rounds ever to happen in any of our games. I had an actual crack egg. Egg. That's a duck. The end of the season is especially exciting because the front runner changes basically every episode. Something about this season doesn't really connect with me though, which is why I rank it at number 9 out of 11. I still think the game is a bit too busy with a bit too many players, and also too many idols at play as well. Next up is Survivor Lethal Lagoon. I absolutely adore this season. It's the best. <laughs> this season had tribes labeled as Outwit, Outplay, Outlast, which was basically just another way of phrasing Brain Brawn Beauty. And this is easily the most competitive regular season of the show. The pre-merge has a lot of fun moments, and the post-merge has three rounds that had me absolutely shocked. Like, I was gasping the day of. It, it was really so good. This season is an absolute must-see. I rank it at number two out of 11. There was only one season that could beat it. You'll see why when I get there. Uh, this is the one. It really is. Next up is Survivor Mystic Tundra. This is a standard season, 18 players, two tribes, and this is one of our two-day games. Of all of our Survivor seasons, I think that this season easily has the best storytelling and the best characters. There are clear villains, there are clear heroes, there are shocking eliminations. Um, underdog stories. It really has pretty much everything you could ask for. In fact, this season has our most notorious villain on it with his most notorious villainous storyline. I rank this season number 3 out of 10 and it's absolutely one that you want to catch. Next up is Survivor Forbidden Cove. This season is standard in every sense of the word. There are 18 players, 3 tribes of 6. The gameplay is fairly straightforward with a few really fun rounds. And we have one of our strongest final rounds of all time. I think the idol hunts are especially fun this season. The cast is really funny, and it's just a really enjoyable season to watch. Of all of the ones that I would recommend to new viewers to Survivor in general, I think this would be one I would recommend. And I rank this season at 8 out of 11. It's a really standard season, and I just love it. The next season is Survivor Foggy Bog. This is when we settled on our current format of having three tribes of seven. I really love this season because there are clear relationship storylines from start to finish. I really love the pre-merge because a clear rivalry begins between the two most successful tribes while another tribe is just struggling to survive at all. This creates several interesting strategic moments in the post-swap, and there's a really interesting intruder twist that really sets the tone of the game. The post-merge is just as fun. The season is filled with underdogs, fun flips, blindsides, and satisfying eliminations. Another good thing to note is that Redemption Island only brings back one player at the start of the merge, and that's it. I love it. I rank this season at number 5 out of 11. Definitely check it out. Survivor Freaky Forest is another 21-player game with three tribes of seven. This is the first season without Redemption Island. And the game continues all the way up to a final two instead of a final three. This season is really fun, with a very even pre-merge. And the post-merge is exciting, and the winner is very satisfying and deserving. Honestly, one of our best winners of all time. The gameplay is pretty standard, and honestly, the season has a lot of similarities to Forbidden Cove. And overall, this is probably a good season to start with if you want to get acquainted with our channel. If you enjoy this season, you'll enjoy any of our other seasons. I rank this season number 7 out of 11 right in the middle of the pack. Um, I counted, we have had 210 people play Survivor. 
Yeah, like not counting Big Brother, just Survivor, we've had 210 players, and you are the 16 that have been chosen to play today. Oh. <laughs> Survivor All Stars is our most recently published season, and it is the best of all time. No questions asked. It's amazing. Every single cast member earned their spot in the cast. Every single player was there to play well and play to win. There is conflict from the start. I have never seen two tribes go at it more than the two tribes of Survivor All Stars. Right. Right. Turn. Right. Hey, just knock them. Right. Turn. Every single episode has an exciting moment, and we have the best post-merge of any season. A fun, lovable, qualified cast of 16 competes for 12 episodes. The winner is really satisfying, especially in regard to the entirety of our series. And this is some Survivor you want to watch. If you're a Survivor fan, you will love Luke Survivor All-Stars. I rank this season number 1 out of 11. It is the best of the best. So that's what you need to know about our Survivor series. I will be posting another video about our Big Brother seasons and the Genius seasons after this one, so stay tuned.